Tonight, a consumer watchdog report we got our hands on today about what happens when we all go grocery shopping. If you feel drawn to certain items or buy more than you really need, is it because of the sly and brand new marketing techniques? And what are they? ABC's Ron Claiborne is our Sherlock Holmes of the secrets. For you, it's an ordinary shopping trip, but for the supermarket, it's a seduction. And it starts, like many seductions, with flowers, which are often right at the entrance. If you can smell the flowers, um, it creates a 40% increase in good mood. The products you see, where they are displayed, even what you smell, it's all part of a sophisticated market-tested strategy to get you to buy. So while I'm buying the apples, I think, oh, you know, I could also buy some some caramel and have caramel apples. Great idea. Now I've got an impulse buy. With food prices up 6% in the last year, cost-conscious consumers may want to pay attention to some of the psychology that supermarkets use. In their pretty little baskets, the apples look like they're straight from the farm. They put you in a pleasant, seasonal mood. This is what's known as a symbolic. These vegetables, fragrant and glistening with water sprayed on them every few minutes, are hedonics. They excite your senses. And this cheese stand is loaded with choices, so you have to pause to find the one you came for. That pause is called dwell time. Another crafty means of persuasion, packing food in ice. It also signals to the shopper, hey, this is really perishable. This is called the racetrack. To lure them down the aisles, an eye-catching sale item is placed on a stand near the racetrack. Is it fair to call them trying to trick you in any sense? I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that. Uh, influence. Influence, yes. We met Sharon McCain, who said she was influenced to buy some things she didn't intend to. I didn't intend to buy apples. Why did you? Well, they were stacked up and they looked good, so I bought some apples. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it really does work. Ron Claiborne, ABC News, New York.